As we ended last week, we got wind of another tragedy to hit the aviation industry. This event happened over on Saturday, January 9, involving a Surajaya Boeing 737, which lost contact with air traffic controllers minutes after taking off from Jakarta International Airport. This video will give a general overview of what we know so far based on local Indonesian and international press reports. On the particular flight on Saturday, January 9, local time in Indonesia, Surajaya Air Flight SJ-182 was a regularly scheduled flight from Jakarta Soekarno Hatta Airport to Pontianak on the island of Borneo, which is around north-northeast of Jakarta. Usually with a scheduled flight time of around an hour, the flight was operating using a Boeing 737-500 with the registration PKCLC and was carrying around 62 passengers and crew with 6 crew members and there are reports that there were 6 other non-working crew members who were in transit. Local reports stated that the aircraft took off from Jakarta Sukarno Hatta at around 2.36 in the afternoon, after a delay of just over an hour. After initial climbing for a few minutes, the aircraft turned off course, to which the air traffic controllers requested a response by the pilots, to which they received none. Along with the reports that the aircraft lost contact with air traffic controllers, we also got flight data from Flight Radar 24, which reported the aircraft reached an altitude of around 10,900 feet before dropping altitude at a rapid rate in within a minute. After initial reports of the plane missing, the re reports surfaced of debris being found reportedly from the aircraft by residents and fishermen of the nearby Thousand Islands just off the shore of Jakarta. Based on the initial reports, it has been suspected and now apparent that the aircraft has crashed and the Indonesian authorities have dispatched resources to help in the search and rescue efforts. While we likely will see and hear more grim news, the Boeing 737-500 in question normally doesn't operate on this route and according to flight radar, normally the newer Boeing 737-800s are usually deployed on this route. For the background of the aircraft registration PKCLC, the 737-500 is a 26.7-year-old aircraft which was first delivered to the former Continental Airlines in 1994 and also operated with United Airlines following its merger in the late 2000s. The ownership of the aircraft would then be transferred to Surajaya Air in 2012, and the aircraft was given the name Citra. Since 2012, the aircraft has been in service with Surajaya Air. Though the aircraft was stored for months amid the COVID-19 pandemic between March and October of 2020. Since the groundings, the aircraft has been in service for a few months leading up to this incident. Based on more recent reports, we have heard that the location of the crash site has apparently been located along with the black boxes and they are expected to be recovered soon. Keep in mind that this is going to be an ongoing investigation and we're likely to get the final report within a year or two. This is a dark time in the history of Sirajaya Air, which is the third largest airline in Indonesia. Founded in 2003, the airline is based in Jakarta and operates flights to mostly within the region and domestically, but the airline operates mostly Boeing 737 Next Generation aircraft, specifically the Dash 800 and Dash 900s. Among the 737s on the fleet were six 737-500s, including the one that was involved in the incident. Over the next few months, we'll likely hear more news and information pertaining to the incident and what the investigators will be coming up with leading up to the release of their findings. In the meantime, this is a very dark time for the families and those who have been affected by the Surajaya Air incident and our thoughts and prayers are with them in this dark time. This has been Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.